Hello and welcome to our how-to video. Today's video we will show you how to put in your router and Wi-Fi details into your enforcer control panel. Now we've already done a video on this which you may have already seen uh, on our YouTube channel but today's video is targeted for people who have special characters in their either their router name or their password or both. So you're going to need a laptop computer for this or a desktop computer as long as it's Wi-Fi enabled it'll work. So to begin what you do is you press the D button you enter your four digit number so in my case 1234 now it's just going to ask you a few questions so the answer is no until you find setup Wi-Fi okay if you go too far just press B for back so we'll say yes I'll ask you, do you want to set up the Wi-Fi device? The answer is yes. Are you sure? The answer is yes. Now, what you'll see is your panel ID. Now, they'll all, they'll all be different for each individual system out there, but you want to remember this. Okay? So, I'll transfer you over to the laptop now, and we'll show you what to do from then on. Now, leaving the control panel with the, with the system ID on the display, what you do using your laptop you need to you need to go to your wi-fi settings because you want to connect to the control panel so i've been using windows 8.1 so in my case i just go down to the bottom right hand corner i go to settings and i select wi-fi so this is actually the router i'm on just now so that the part i told you to remember on the control panel you'll see it here so this is my this is my alarm system You'll have your own individual ID as well. So we click on that. And it'll ask us to connect to it. So I'll say connect. Now it'll ask you for your, your security key or password. It's exactly the same as your system ID. So it's not this one that I'm circling right now because you'll have your own one. It's the one that's shown on your computer. So if it's capital letters, make sure you put the capital letters in also. So there you have it. Password is exactly the same. Click next. It'll automatically open a window up. So I'll expand it so you can see it better. Now up here in the menu, or in the top bar shall we say, you click on it and you write the number 192.168.1. Dot zero dot one. Once you've done that, click enter. And now we're actually logged into the control panel. So you'll see my ID up here as well. So your router should auto your sorry, your control panel should automatically start searching for Wi-Fi networks in the area. So you can see mine's is, my router's already been picked up, but if there's nothing shown down here, or your router's not shown down here. You can just click the arrow, which is a refresh button. So we'll just click on that. Okay, so they all picked up something else there as well. So select the router you want to connect to. So mine will be the Netgear. This is where you type in your, your router password. So this is this is where you can put in your special characters, your you know your at symbols, your question marks and things which is what you don't get on the actual control panel doing it manually. So you can write in whatever you need to write. And I'll just put in a couple of special characters so you can see that also. So I've just put a load of rubbish in, but just to give you an idea of what you can do, you've got the full use of your keyboard on your, your laptop or computer. When you've done it, and you're happy with it just click the tick menu i'll transfer you back to the control panel just now but just leave your computer running at the moment so it connects up once you're once you see the right message on the display in the control panel you can shut down your laptop or computer because you're finished with it now if you've done that correctly you should have connected to network now shown on the system so you press yes and then you press no until you find signal strength and if it's connected you should have something shown here if you've got a number 
That's perfect. If you've got a zero, so you've not done something right. So to get back right to the beginning, you just keep pressing no until you get a menu with capital letters. When you have the capital letters, just press A. That's a shortcut to get out. So that should be you all up and running again. Just check your app and thanks for watching.